All right, everybody. So tonight is the NFL honors, and um, I just thought I'd jump on, give my quick thoughts and predictions, maybe a little insight as to who I think will win out of all the major categories. So to go over this quickly, I just think, um, let's start with Coach of the Year. Why not? Uh, we got Dan Campbell, Harbaugh, Ryan Stefanski, Mike Shanahan. I think Shanahan's going to be always in the topic of discussion, say with McVay, um, just because of how well um, their teams usually typically do. And notice how it's like Andy Reid. Andy Reid's not nominated. He's in the Super Bowl. I think it's going to either go to D'Amico Ryans or um, Dan Campbell. And the reason why is just because of the Lions were nothing. Like, they sucked. I've been a Packers fan my whole life. The Lions suck. And the fact that they were a handful of plays away from going to the Super Bowl, you got to give it to him. He's changed that organization. For Comeback Player of the Year, um, there's Joe Flacco, Matthew Stafford, DeMar Hamlin, Tua, and Baker Mayfield. I personally think, I mean, if any of them win, whichever one wins, it's like there's a great reason. Like, there is no wrong answers here because all of them have, like, hey, I mean, DeMar Hamlin literally died, allegedly, on the football field. And then he came back and he played, you know, some decent minutes this season. To a season-ending injury with concussion after concussion. Baker passed around team to team. Joe Flacco, a third-string quarterback on, you know, being cut down to practice squads. And, you know, he's thrown the most touchdowns out of any quarterback in the league in November and December. So it's like, anybody can win it. I personally think... To put Baker Mayfield bias to the side because it's like, oh yeah, give it to Baker. Give it to Joe Flacco. And the reason why I say that is because his career was dead in the water. He was going absolutely nowhere. And with how injury riddled the Browns were, he took them as far as they went. They weren't supposed to be there, so give it to him. Uh, rookie Defensive Player of the Year. I got to give it to Will Anderson. And the reason why I'd say that is because of the team success overall. And I would say this with D'Amico Ryans, Will Anderson, and CJ Stroud. Um, it's happened in the past where teams will go on, whether it's the Jets last year or a handful of years ago, you know, with Lattimore and Kamara with the Saints. I think the Texans might be walking away with a lot of hardware tonight, and I just think with the overall team success, that's why he'll win it. For Offensive Rookie of the Year, um, I would say I'm going to give it to Puka Nukua. Not to say that Jameer Gibbs or Laporta did terrible or CJ Stroud did terrible. It's like to see how just reliable but also you know productive the expectation to be great and to have all these touchdowns completions yards and stuff as a quarterback and lead your team to wins like that is expected the fact that it was a rookie in cj stroud this is pretty impressive like he beat the hey i'm a bust from ohio state allegations and so it's like he might be in talk for an actual mvp next year if he performs this well next year but i think to me it's more impressive seeing how nakua like exploded onto the scene considering he's a late round draft pick versus CJ Stroud, like the wide receivers, you know, individual season versus a quarterback who's supposed to perform. Like that's why I'd give it to him. For defensive player of the year, I, I well, so you could argue for Max, you could argue for Parsons, Miles Garrett, or TJ Watt. I think just with how injury and beating up the Browns were and how they weren't supposed to go anywhere this season, you got to give it to Miles Garrett. Um, I, as a close second, I would say Max Crosby, but that's just me. Offensive Player of the Year out of you know Tyreek Hill, C.D. Lamb, Christian McCaffrey, Dak Prescott, Lamar Jackson. I'd have to give it to Christian McCaffrey, and the reason why is because of how explosive he is, and the reason why he is why the 49ers have so much success. Like if he, you know, let's say he got injured in Week Five or Week Six, we're looking at a whole different 49ers team. And so that's why I'd give it to him. Now the MVP, yeah, is there any other that I got to look over? MVP out of, you know, Chris McCaffrey, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, Brock Purdy. Uh, these were some of the nominees. Kind of surprised Mahomes isn't there considering he's playing in a Super Bowl. I mean, he did have an off year, but whatever. It's going to go to Lamar Jackson. If I were to say this is a award that's also based on it's affected too by the playoffs and how you performed in the playoffs, you got to give it to Christian McCaffrey because he's the reason why they beat the Packers. He's the reason why they beat the Lions. And so it's like, this dude is the workload. And like, he has bailed out the 49ers time and time again. And mark my words, if they want to win the Super Bowl, he's going to be the reason why they win the Super Bowl. Now, if they do regular season and postseason awards for a whole different discussion, which I think they should 
ease into that. And the reason why is because just wouldn't it be cool to see the league MVP also be the Super Bowl MVP? Like, let's say Christian McCaffrey, you know, wins Super Bowl MVP. Wouldn't it be cool to see, oh, Christian McCaffrey won Super Bowl MVP, league MVP, and, you know, post, you see what I mean? Like something like that instead of, well, it's going to be Lamar, but he only performed decently during the regular season. Like it just kind of feels empty, like, you know, a Heisman winner that doesn't go to the national championship, whether it's Baker, you know, or Jaden Daniels, Kyler Murray. Lamar had a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal season. You know, they were the number one team in the AFC. They beat up on the 49ers. They just beat up on everybody and they looked scary and they looked poised to lift the Lombardi trophy this year. But it just, ah, the frustration of them losing. Do I think that will have an effect? No. Lamar Jackson is going to win it. He would be my pick. I think he should win. He's more than deserving. But I mean, if it if the if the nominee was swayed in the way because of regular season performance and postseason, I'd lean towards giving it to Christian McCaffrey, but Lamar Jackson has earned it this year, so give it to him. Those are my thoughts on the NFL honors tonight. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.